guys on this one here. Lady was complaining about not getting enough hot water upstairs. It'd run out, run out in the shower. So I turned the low limit up to 170. And um, it's still running out of hot water after like, you know, three, four minutes. So what I'm gonna do is what's happening here is cold water comes in here from the ball valve, comes in to the tankless, gets heated up, comes out hot to the tempering valve, then it goes up there, up to the fixtures. I'm gonna put a ball valve right here. So because the cold and the hot is being mixed here, with a ball valve will be able to adjust this to give her continuous hot water upstairs for her shower. This is what happens with some of these older systems, they get lined up inside. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a ball valve. I'll have to cut this pipe here and drop all this down. When I first came here, this little limit is at 150. She was getting nothing, but she's still complaining, so I'll, I'll put that ball valve in and uh, I can adjust it if I need it. All right. And heat this 45 up right here and pop that right off now. That's a loose, that'll come off. I'm gonna heat right here and pop it right off, clean that. I'll put my ball valve and I'll lower this whole assembly down. here so I can adjust it if I need it. That's what I need. So 
all like that, and I can adjust it. Yeah, it drip like that. I'm gonna wait for that to stop where you can't solder it. About 45 there, we'll drop this down. <laughs> this here like this, pipe them off like that, be good.
velden hier. Zo, de kogel ook kan dan hier. Oké, okay. come over. Up into the bottom of the tamperon valve. And I'll be able to adjust it. And it will also go over and then feed in the tankless and then come out hot. So the hot and the cold mix in the tempering valve will go out warm. Problem was she was running out of hot water um, during her shower. And this has been replaced recently so this is not the issue. Let's put this back together and I'll be able to adjust it and probably like halfway or something. We'll try it. Pressure relief valve. We'll put that back on there. See if we have any leaks. I'll turn the water on here. We can adjust the temperature that we want here with this. This was turned up all the way. Oh, I'm gonna set at 170. Should be fine. 190 on the high, which is good. I'm gonna try it. Right, I'll turn this on. Put it on and I'll adjust it downstairs. We're coming down the cold. It's feeding in here with the ball valve. And it's feeding through the tankless. We're coming out, it's coming out hot. What I usually do is I feel the warm here going up. If it's not hot enough, I cut this back some more. I can adjust the shower valve upstairs if I have to, but I gotta get hot water up there all the time. It's almost gonna be off. See, I can basically hold my hand on there, which is not that great. I want to slow the flow down going in. I could slow it down with this, see? Slow the flow down going in so whatever goes in comes out hot. We're going to do both. Slip, cut the flow down. So I'm starting to warm up now. Show how hot water now. So we'll be able to take a shower. So that's all I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take the handle off. That one also, yeah, now it's getting warm. That's good there. Yeah, we can take a shower there with that. That's good. Hold on a little bit more, but I think that's good. Alright, so I got the bolt handles off. I got this about halfway. It's slowing the flow going in through, acting as a flow control. And I got the other cold over there just cracked a little bit. 
sure I got the handle off of that one too. It's set, so she's going to have hot water for now. Uh, she really needs a storage tank here or an aqua bank. That's what she needs. That's what she needs. I gotta just do the burner cleaning now. Filter and nozzle, and she'll be good.